So it's another kind of rainy day here in Longsheng and we are making a move today. We're going to be going to Yangshao. Yangshuo. Yangshuo. God, I'm not saying any of these places right. And we've got a bus booked that we booked, well, the bus driver kind of coerced us into booking. Conned us into spending twice as much yeah. as we needed to, yeah. But we've got that booked, that's at 12, and in order to get back down the mountain you can walk, but obviously it's raining, we don't really want to do that. So there's a couple of French girls at the hostel as well, and they have a bus at the same time, so we're sharing a car with them, so we're saving a bit of money. And I think it's quite a kind of backpackery sort of yeah. place, so I think there'll be like lots of cool bars and cafes and stuff as well, so quite excited to go check it all out. Our bus is going to be about three and a half hours, so we bought some snacks. We're a massive fan of these Orion pies, so we bought them again. Uh, and the lemon iced tea, we've been drinking a lot tea. of that as well. I feel like this is going to become our like go-to snack for sure. I think this might be our bus. So apparently there's two buses going at 12 o'clock. We're on a different one to the other guys, so hopefully the French girls have found the right bus as well. Uh, the worst thing is, what? we're going to Guaylin first. This is like the slow bus, yeah. and we've paid more for it. Yeah. Oh wow. Bus, the rocking just sends me to sleep. I'm just like my eyes just like closing and I'm yawning. Even when it's completely bumpy and windy like this, it's just the rocking motion. Like a baby. It's gonna be hopefully 10 minutes, less yeah, than 10 minutes. 10 minutes. And it's not too hot here. Yeah. And the scenery is awesome. Yeah. There's just these huge like mountains behind us. It's, it's like Avatar, it reminds me of Avatar. Yeah, it's not the Avatar part of China, but it <laughs> is it's close by and it's really really cool. Really bright open window with a view out to the limestone hills. Got a TV, we've got a kettle. Ah. Oh yeah. That looks fine. We've got a western toilet as well, which makes a nice change. Yeah. Looks nice. So we've come out to lunch somewhere that was recommended by a hostel. He like walked us all the way over here, which is really sweet. And we both went for rice noodles. I've gone for beef, Rob went for pork. And then 
know, there's a there's little station where you can add all the different toppings. So we're just doing that now, and then we'll tuck in. See if this is any good. Oh, it's nice. I definitely added maybe a little bit too much chili. <laughs> Is it spicy? It's quite spicy. But the noodles are nice though. Rice noodles are normally flat and these ones are round. So it's kind of like rice noodle spaghetti. But I think it's nice. I think it's authentic here. No one speaks English. And so I think we've come to a place. And it was super cheap. Only 15 won for each one which is about £1.50 for a whole bottle of noodles. And this is large, so super cheap. That was pretty filling, actually. Didn't look like much, but it was very filling. It took us a while to eat it all. I think now we'll go for a stroll along the river, and Rob needs to get a SIM card because I got one at the airport, but we didn't like trust it enough to get two, so now Rob needs to get one because it's hard not having the internet. Yeah, it's hard to find out where we're going and what we're doing. Yeah. I'm going to get the, the other company from Jenny so that we have more coverage. Cycle down the river, so we'll pick it up again. Good luck, you mate. 